Hey guys, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays on this very frosty Christmas Eve. Uh, it is it is very, very cold outside and I have my, my thick wool, wool sweater on. A uh, few important updates I wanted to mention. Uh, first, please make sure to like and subscribe so you can see the video that's coming out on Monday, which is me and Aquachigger uh, metal detecting. We had an awesome time, found tons of Civil War stuff, and that video is going to be coming out on Monday. Uh, and also just so you can get all the videos and all the all the updates I have. I also wanted to mention that I recently created a Facebook page. So if you wouldn't mind uh, searching for the Relic Man Matt, all one word, uh, Facebook page, uh, you can go ahead and like and follow me there as well and see some of my videos and some pictures of some of the relics that you may not see on YouTube or TikTok or elsewhere. But the most important reason I wanted to make this video today is to talk about one of my most incredible finds, or my craziest find metal detecting. I get the question a lot about what's the uh, craziest or weirdest thing you've ever found metal detecting. So I wanted to make this video to talk about uh, just that find. And I promise what I'm about to tell you is absolutely true. I really found this relic uh, in a river here in the United States. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to look at the a, a video clip uh, that I took of finding this relic uh, last summer in the river, and then I'll talk about what it is. So let's go to that clip now. <laughs> Now let me tell you a little bit about the spot where I found uh, found that relic. So it's kind of an, an area in the river that's very shallow. I think it was used as a ford at one point. I found a lot of Civil War relics, including cavalry relics, on one end of the shallow area. So I think it was used as a fording area, and there was probably a small Civil War camp there to guard the ford. But this is not a Civil War item. And I'll tell you, this is such this is a spot that's so in the middle of nowhere that besides that Civil War camp there, there really wasn't much going on. I mean, I'm about a mile away from a bridge. Uh, no, it wasn't, it's not really a, a river access point of any kind. Uh, there, there's not a lot around, around that area now. There were a couple houses in the 1700s within, I would say a quarter mile of that spot on either side of the river. But otherwise, not a lot going on here, which makes it extra weird. Uh, that I found this item. And I'll bring you over so you can uh, see it up close. So hopefully you guys can, can see this. Hopefully it's focused in. I can't uh, really tell. But uh, I found this, as I said, in the crack in the bedrock at that fording area. When I first saw it, I, I immediately knew it was something very strange. I I had no real, uh, real idea of what it could be. I thought maybe some kind of trade weight, because I've seen trade weights that look generally like this, probably the closest thing I can think of to what what this would look like. Uh, one of the strangest things about it when I pulled it out of the water is I noticed it's, uh, let's say, anatomically correct, which to me struck me as odd if it was some kind of toy figurine that was modern or from the 20th century, because they really didn't make things like that uh, anatomically correct, let's say. But what... Uh, what I really started uh, thinking was weird about it is its weight. It's, it's got uh, quite a bit of weight to it, and it looks like it's broken here. Um, the arm, the right arm is broken off, and also there's a break uh, at the top there. So I started uh, doing some research on small uh, bronze figurines. I figured it was bronze based on the color. Uh, turns out it's leaded bronze. Um, and anyway, so I started doing some research on it, and I found what looked identical to this in, in every way, really, 
is a statue of Harpocrates from ancient Egypt or Horus. It um, would have had the uh, uh, the right arm would have come down and then uh, come across with a finger over the mouth, and then there would have been a a crown that came up where it's broken here, kind of a larger crown on the top. You can Google a uh, statue of Harpocrates or, or Horus. And here's a picture of one from a museum. So you can kind of see what it, what it looked like. It's the same thing. So I took this to an antiquities expert and the antiquities expert told me it's authentic. It is a uh, ancient Egyptian votive statue for Harpocrates or Horus. Uh, dates to about the 5th century BC. How it got to this spot, a river in America in the middle of nowhere, is, is, is a, gr a great mystery to me. One other thing I wanted to mention about this is you see how it's kind of at a weird angle. Like it doesn't stand up. It would fall over because of how the base is. It kind of has to, has to be like that, flat. That's because this was part of a set of statues that apparently... Um, this statue would sit on the lap of uh, Osiris, I believe. Uh, so that's, that's why it was kind of like a family of Egyptian gods uh, votive set uh, that, that was very, very popular in ancient Egypt all the way through Ptolemaic uh, Egypt when the Greeks controlled there and even I think into the Roman, uh, Roman times as well. Um, so a 2,500-year-old mystery from a river in the United States. I mean, that's weird. That's, uh, I've talked to some other relic hunters who have hunted the, the rivers where I found this and none of them have ever found anything like that in, in these rivers. So it's really weird. Um, I mean, who knows how it got there? My uh, initial thought was someone had stolen it and tossed it in the river. But like I said, nowhere near, I'm, I'm a mile from the bridge, um, a, almost a mile and a half not near a roadway of any kind. It would not be the place to toss something you stole. And it has some weight to it. So it certainly didn't move downstream from, from the bridge. Uh, any of you guys who hunt in the rivers uh, know that heavy objects go to the bottom immediately. So this did not move downstream. So I don't know. It's a really weird mystery and the strangest thing I found. Um, I'm going to do a couple more videos like this on some really weird things I found in the river, and I hope you'll enjoy them. And once again, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll see you at Metal Detecting soon when the ground thaws.